Now let's see some commands to achieve the thing which we wanted. So first of all, we want to remove this containers, right? So we want to remove the container, we want to remove the image as well. But before that, as we know, whenever you use any tool, we have this help option, right? So what I will do is I will try to say docker help and let's see, do we get any options here? So we have so many commands here. Of course, not every command will be used, but uh, these are the common commands we have. So you can see we have an option of run, which we have already used and we have execute. So it's execute a command in a running container. We don't, we don't want to do that now. You can use PS to list the container, which we have done already. You can also use build to build a image. Now, since we have not created our own project or we are not building our own image at this point, we'll not be using this. Next option we have is pull. Uh, which we are going to see in this video. Also, we have an option of push to push your own image to the deposit to the registry. Remember, as I mentioned in the Docker Hub, you can push your own images, and the way you can do that with the help of push command. Then we have images which list the images which we have used. Then we have login to the registry and log out. So you can log in through the browser as well, uh, which we can do using this button here. If, if you can see on the top, which is sign in. Otherwise, you can also do it from the command line. Then we have an option of search, which search for the search Docker Hub for the images. OK, uh, we can explore this and then we can see the version of Docker, which we are using. We can also see the info. And yeah, there are multiple options here. But if you scroll down, the certain things which we are going to use in this video, which is pause. We also have an option of RM. So RM basically means remove one or more containers. So that's right. We can remove containers with the help of RM. This is what I want. And we can remove the images with the help of RMI. So this remove images I. And then we can start the container. We can stop the containers. And yeah, so that's those are the things we have. So let's use this. Let's see if I can use those commands. Now, first of all, I want to remove the image, right? So I will simply say Docker, but let's let's try to remove the uh, containers first. And we don't know the container ID, so I will simply say PS hyphen A. And now you can see I got a container ID here. So basically like what I can do is I can say Docker RM. So because to remove the container, we have to use RM and mention this ID. So I can just simply copy this ID and paste it here. When I say enter, let's see what you get. Okay, so it is removing the container because it is stopped. You know, we should have first try to remove the uh, image, right? Let's try that once. What I will do is I will just run this container once again. I will say run uh, hello world. Okay, it's running. I will say clear. And if you see this once again, you do have a container. So what I will do is I will delete the image first. Let's try that. So Docker images and you can see we have an image here. And now if I try to say Docker, now what's the option or command to remove the images RMI. And then you have to mention the image ID. So I will just copy this and paste it here. Enter and we got an error. The same thing we tried to do on the UI, right? The Docker desktop. And the error which you got here is unable to delete this particular image. Uh, must be for forced. <laughs> okay, image is being used by the stopped container there. So this is the container ID which we have, which we have to stop first. So basically, if you want to remove, first remove the container, which is dependent upon some image, and then remove the image. So let's remove the container now. So I will say RM and the same steps which we have used before. Let's copy this. And mind you, every time you run your uh, container, it will get a new ID. So this ID is different from the earlier one. Because in the earlier time, when we removed, you can see this was the ID. But now the ID starts with B double E D. So this is different. Let me remove this and paste, enter. Now the container has been removed. How do I verify that? It's very simple. You can say PS hyphen A and you can see everything is empty. So now we can happily remove the image. I can say enter and you can see image is deleted. How do I verify this? Let's say Docker images and there's nothing there. So basically using these two commands, let me just show you the commands once again. If you want to see all the containers, even which are running or stopped, you will see with the help of hyphen A. Then we have we used a command, which is Docker RM with a container ID to remove the container. And we can use Docker RMI with a image ID to remove the image. That's how you do it. Now let's say, 
I want to create an image. So what I will do is I will simply try to start. So when I say start, what it means is the Docker container should be there to start. So let me try that. Let me say Docker start and I will mention the container name as hello world. Now, first of all, this is wrong is because there's nothing called hello world. So basically, if you want to start something, because hello world is an image name, right? Not the container name. If you want to start, you need a container ID. Okay, I don't have a container. So let's create a container. So to create a container, we can say docker create. But again, for create, we need to mention the image name. So let's say we are saying hello world. So from this image, it will create a container. And now you can see it is following the same steps which we have done before. So that means before create, because the create will pull the image, right? It is download the image. But what if I actually follow a proper steps here? Of course, when you say Docker run, it will do all the steps. But what if you want to do the steps one by one? So the first step is you have to pull the image. But I think we have already pulled the image and you can see we got the image. And if I see the process, or PS, we already got an image here. So what I will do is I will remove this container or we already got a container. So let me remove this container and let's do step by step. So also remove and I want to remove the image as well. The image ID is this, okay, which is same because the image ID will not change, only container ID will change. Now everything is empty. So the, what's the first step? The first step is to pull the image. Or maybe the first step is to search the image. So what I will do is I will say Docker search. It will search in the registry for a particular image. So I will say, hello world. Do we have this image? Let's see. And you can see it is giving you a list of images here. And the first one is official. So when you say, okay, that means it is official. And okay, O is going on top is because of, we don't have enough space here. So you can see it says, uh, hello world is okay. That means it is official. So that's on top. And you can see so many stars we got, but this is what I want. So we want hello world. So yes, it is there. So that's the first step. Next step is to pull the image. So I will say Docker, we can use something called pull to, to pull the image. I will say Docker pull hello world. Now what it will do is it will download the image from the registry. So when I say enter, it says using the default tag latest is downloading it. It will take some time. It says pulling from library, hello world, pulling is complete. And that's done. Okay, so simple, right? So pulling is done. And let's verify that from the images. So yeah, pulling is done. But is it running? Let's see, or is it is the container created yet? No, so the container is not created yet. So the next step would be to create a container. So we can say docker create and we can mention the image ID or we can we mention the image name. So let me just try with the name. Enter. Okay, you can see it is. It says created. I mean, it it, got, it it has given you an ID. Now this is the ID for your container. And if I say enter, you can see this is the ID. But do, don't you think there's a mismatch? We only got few characters here, and the ID is so big. So in the real world, the ID is actually very big. What you see here is only the starting point or starting part. Okay, so I got the image created, and now we have to run this. So to run this, we can also say start and we can mention the image ID or the container ID. So the container ID is this. Let's try to use only the starting four letters. If, let's see if this works and it works. Okay, the container is running now. So if I say this, so it ran and it exited as well. Okay, so it is created and exited and this is the name of the container which we got. Okay, and so this is when it was created. This is when it was exited six seconds ago. So that's how basically you can use this step. So the first step is search. And if you know it is there, pull, then you create a container, then you start the container. In fact, you can also stop the container, but it's already stopped. But if you want to stop a container, you can say Docker stop, and you can mention the container name or container ID, not the name. So we can just use this. Maybe you can use full or only part of it. Enter. Since it's already stopped, nothing will change. If I say this, you can say the same because it's already into stop stage. You can also pause a particular container. So you can say Docker pause and you can mention the container ID. It will pause it. Uh, you got an error because it's not running, right? So it will only pause when, it, when you're running it or which is in running state. So if you have any containers in future when we have running container, if you want to pause it, we'll see how do we do that. 
or you can try it out. So everything is done. Now we can remove this container. So we know how to remove the container. We can say RM, enter. Now the container is removed. Let's verify and it's not there. So basically these are the steps we have. So when you say run, it will do all the steps for you. Okay, so run basically is a combination of all the steps which we have done at the start. So yeah, these are the basic commands which we have, which we commonly use in Docker.